Hi everyone, can I let you in on a little secret? Come a little closer. It's Friday night. It's time for Wine Diaries. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. So thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And today it's Friday. It's been a long long crazy week i think i've worked every night till like 9 30 10 o'clock it's still better than i used to do but i need to really kind of cut that back a little bit but it's been a good week and it's a long holiday weekend so just kind of hoping to maybe do a little relaxing maybe get out do some yard work in between the rainstorms it was like 76 today it just felt so so nice just just a quick walk to the mailbox and to see people walking by. So many puppies in the neighborhood. And you, gotta, you know, when I'm out there, I got to stop and pet them, right? I love puppies. But anyway, it's Friday night. It's time for Wine Diaries. So I am going to have one of those little bottles. Probably not going to drink the whole thing tonight, but just a glass with my dinner. So I've got this six-pack that I got a couple of weeks ago. Could have even been last week. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, so I'm just going to call it Drink Easy. So I got two, three of these little six packs of these cute little bottles of wine. I'm looking forward to trying this one because I think that horse on here is so cute. That's a Malbec wine. This one, I I have no idea what it is. I've never heard of it. It's Boger El Dorado. It's a Barbera. Looking forward to trying that one. But the one I picked to try tonight is another Portugal wine from Portuguese no from Portugal it's a Portuguese wine from Portugal and it's a 60% I'm going to butcher this Aragonese and 40% Syrah this one I believe it's a 13% alcohol so 26 proof it's in 2020 so I'm looking forward to trying this. I know it's going to be on the drier side, maybe a cross between a medium and a full-bodied wine. So for my snacks, actually it's a little bit of both. It's snacks and dinner. So I made these. I got this crustini bread again, and I just kind of cut it thin. And I got some pico de gallo because I'm in the mood for uh, Doritos with pico de gallo. So I put some of the pico de gallo on here. So it's like tomatoes and some onions and peppers. So I put that on that bread with a little bit of um, Italian dressing. And I used a vinaigrette, a balsamic vinaigrette. And then I got some mozzarella. I wanted to get some fresh mozzarella to put on it. But I could not find it at the, my local store. So I just got the shredded mozzarella. So I got a couple of those here for my appetizer. I got a little bit of salad in the corner. And then I made a baby lasagna. So I'll be having this probably all week. And a little piece of lasagna right there. So that's my snacks and my dinner and um start a memorial day weekend you're not going to see this probably till next week so i hope that everyone went out had a fantastic three-day weekend i know this is kind of like um my my sister used to carry on the tradition after we moved to minnesota as my my father had passed away and he's at the uh, born uh, national cemetery on the Cape. Someone before my sister retired and moved to Florida, she would go every year and visit my dad. Put some flowers out on the uh, grave and, um, you know, take pictures to share with us. And so now our daughter Sabrina, she's the one that's been carrying on that tradition. And she's been taking the jelly beans ever since they were so little in the little car seats. And they go out there and they salute the soldiers and anyone out there. So it's just really, I really love Bourne. National Cemetery for that is just a really, really nice place to go and remember your loved ones and, and honor our soldiers. 
and service, just not soldiers, just all kinds of Army, National Guard, Air Force, Navy, Marines. So anyway, thank you everyone who's lost your life for our service. Thank you everyone who's thankfully is still alive and you served our country. Just thank you so much for all you do for us. And so anyway, and I know this has this kind of wide bottle here, so um, bottle top, so it kind of makes it hard to pour sometimes. It, and you know, I'm kind of sloppy anyway, so That's not too, too bad. So I got it in my Nancy's Wine Diary glass. It's a really deep, deep purple. It's coating my glass nice, but I did say it's like 13% um, alcohol level. All right, so let's kind of swish it around in here and release the aromas, release the fragrances and see if I can figure out what it smells like. And hopefully like the taste. And if not, I'll just eat a lot of lasagna or go get a glass of water. Either one will work for me. It smells, I got that kind of tobacco-y leather type scent, um, maybe cedar, not, not oak, something different, so I'm thinking cedar. Um, probably cherry, maybe even raspberry. Alrighty, cheers everyone. Happy Friday. Here's to the weekend. <sighs> yeah, we made it. We made it through another week. Cheers. This is, I'm going to say it's full bodied. I don't really know how they say it. I'm going to say it's full bodied. It's rich. You can feel the tannins on the upside of your palate and, and your cheeks on your tongue. You can just kind of feel that kind of dry out and just the the texture it's I'm not going to say velvety smooth but it is rich it is heavy it does kind of you feel like you leave a, a film in your mouth not a lot of acidity you can taste the fruits um, flavors when you go to swallow it I think I'm picking up strawberry and cherry and again I got that cedar kind of taste maybe a little pepper um, like a green pepper this time um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna taste again. Maybe tomato. Maybe it's because I'm smelling the lasagna. I'm gonna say kind of like a a leathery kind of tobacco kind of aftertaste. I'm thinking strawberry and cherry, definitely cedar and pepper. Maybe vanilla kind of, to kind of soften it and help kind of blend it all together. But anyway, I am ready for my dinner. I'm ready for my snacks. <sighs> That's kind of like the best part is get to sit down, relax, have something to eat, and wind after a long day. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's 1030. Yeah, it's kind of late, but, but anyway, I am so glad that you guys stopped in. It means so much to me that you guys stop in and spend a little bit of your time with me. It just means so much, and I am so honored. I'm so blessed to have you guys stop in. It really does mean a lot to me. Again, everyone go out. Have a great, great weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. Enjoy life, but have some fun. Love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.